The Hansport Fire Department in Hansport, Nova Scotia, was full of emergency responders Sunday afternoon, not for an emergency, but for a course that trains them in medical emergencies known as MFR. Today's report takes us to the Hansport Fire Department, where today firefighters and first responders are wrapping up a five-day course, which teaches them the fundamental skills and knowledge on how to be a medical first responder. So the MFR uh, program is uh, the one we're doing today is medical first responder. It's through St. John Ambulance. Um, there's a couple of courses that are recognized in the province uh, through Red Cross and St. John Ambulance. So we're teaching the St. John Ambulance protocols today. Um, with safety response, our focus is on the core competencies that uh, primarily this, we want the students to come out of this course learning. And those include uh, things such as a really solid um, set of vitals, patient assessment, CPR, AED. From oxygen masks, also known as non-rebreathers, to airway devices, and even CPR and AED, this course offers a wide array of topics that are not just restricted to emergency service personnel. Anybody can actually take the course. Um, there's a couple of things that occur. So through St. John Ambulance or, or Red Cross, you receive what's called certification in medical first responder. And um, anybody who belongs to a fire department that's notified by EHS to assist at a, at a medical call within the community, uh, they can register through emergency health services and become a registered EHS MFR. So that, that differentiates the two. And even though these scenarios are staged, Safety Response's MFR course offers a hands-on approach to learning, giving these first responders a taste of what a real-world emergency might involve and have them face that emergency head-on. For myself, um, as a first responder, um, it's important to teach other people the skills that, you, that I've learned so I can pass that through other areas. The other thing I've noticed too, and the other thing I think about, I guess, is I travel from Halifax to come here today to be part of this. And it was whiteout conditions the whole way um, that I really and truly should have turned around. But at the end of the day, I thought, you know what? You're actually teaching people how to respond to what I was driving in. So I think it's important the value, I don't think people truly understand the value of what they bring to the community. And MFR isn't the only course that Safety Response teaches. They have many other choices that fit your budget, schedule, and your career. Yeah, I work as a paramedic and I have for over 16 years. I, I, I really like doing training and I got involved uh, with, uh, with somebody else and then I kind of went on my own and I've been uh, having this company for safety response first aid training for approximately six years and um, we do a lot of teaching for volunteer fire departments and uh, you know obviously businesses and stuff. Um, I do anything from uh, babysitting courses, emergency first aid, standard first aid, uh, medical first responders is a big one for our volunteers in the fire service. Um, we do uh, obviously there's, a, there's slideshow that we have to present but then we do a lot of hands-on and with the medical first responder program we do uh, definitely make sure a lot of hands-on has been done we do a lot of vitals we do um, make sure they know how to use the, an AED proper CPR good techniques behind it um, as far as that stuff goes and with all the hard work dedication and long man hours it takes to complete the MFR course it's worthwhile in the end knowing that you could potentially save someone's life and that makes Roger and Paul extremely proud. Yeah, I've been doing this for 28 years and I feel really, actually it makes me feel proud. It, it, it sure shows the succession planning for us in the fire service. So when we go out, uh, it really makes me feel proud that, you know, I was able to help facilitate a course and, and, and when the folks are out there doing their thing and doing their medical calls, it's nice to watch them be able to take blood pressures and talk to patients and, and do the real good assessment. So, so for me, it's a, it really makes me feel proud. It, it, it always feels good because when you arrive on scene, um, whether I'm with the fire department or I'm with the ambulance, it's always good to know that there's somebody that's there, uh, just like what you asked, that's um, had the training, especially when we train them, knowing that uh, you're going to get the work done, the job's going to get done. Um, you know they've already done the vitals. If there's CPR that needs to be done, it's good. It's effective CPR. They can apply AED fast. It's just a good feeling in the, in the sense that we know that we have a lot of volunteers out there that put a lot of time into what they do. And they're giving back um, not only to their to themselves, but it could be one of their own family members. But they're definitely giving back to their community, uh, as far as that goes. And as the MFR course continues here in Hansport, Paul Maynard and Roger Owen will continue to teach the vital skills to your community's first responders, so that in the unfortunate event of an emergency, they will be ready, willing, and able 
to assist you with whatever your emergency may be. Reporting in Hansport, Nova Scotia for Ian Swinimer reports, I'm Ian Swinimer, and thanks for watching.